Hi, my name is Walek Bari. I'm a storage specialist solution architect working at AWS. Let's look at a demo of data sync in action. We'll go through a use case of migrating 10,000 kilobyte size, very small files. As some of you might be aware, small file migrations can be quite challenging because of the file and metadata operational overhead that is required that can lead to low copy operation speeds. In this demo, we have an NFS share mounted on a Linux host, which has a 10,000 very small files presented from an NFS server. We are first going to use a simple copy script, which uses the S3 copy command located on the Linux host to read the 10,000 small files from the NFS server and copy them to an Amazon S3 bucket. Then in the second part of the demo, we have deployed a data sync agent and configured a data sync transfer task to read the same 10,000 files from the NFS share. As you can see, data sync reads the data directly from the NFS server. Then we are going to start the data transfer where the task will use data sync to copy the 10,000 small files and the file metadata such as user and group details, permissions and timestamps and store them in the same Amazon S3 bucket for the objects that it creates. Okay, let's start the demo. We are logged into the Linux host that will be used in this demonstration. This host has an NFS mount point called NFS underscore source, which stores the 10,000 small files that will be used in this demonstration. Let's go ahead and look at some of the file share details. Now, let's verify the number of files stored in this file share. We can see it shows 10,001 small files. Now, let's look at some of the files we are storing in this file share to view the attribute details such as size and type. As you can see, there are lots of very small kilobyte size CSV and GIF image files stored. Now, let's look at the simple copy script I'm going to use to copy this file share data to my target Amazon S3 bucket. In this script, I use the AWS S3 copy command to copy data from the local NFS underscore source mount point to my target Amazon S3 bucket called NFS-target-data, where I'm going to store this data under a prefix folder called S3-CLI-copy. Let's go ahead and start the data transfer script. In the second window below, we can monitor the performance of how fast the small file data transfer is copying to S3. If we fast forward to the end of the data transfer, we see that the average data transfer speed was about five megabytes per second. You might say that's not very fast. Well, that's because we are transferring 10,000 very small kilobyte size files, which generally tends to be a low bandwidth operation compared to transferring large megabyte or gigabyte size files, where you could get transfer speeds in the hundreds of megabytes per second. Now, let's look at how long the data transfer took. It took one minute and five seconds to complete. Take note of this value, as we'll compare this time with how long AWS data sync will take to transfer the same data to the same Amazon S3 target bucket. Let's go ahead and check out the Amazon S3 bucket that we transfer the data to. As we can see, some data is being copied across. Now, let's go and check out how many files have been copied across. As we can see, 10,001 objects have been copied across. Now, let's navigate to the AWS Data Sync console. Here I have pre-created a data transfer task to migrate the same 10,000 source files from the NFS server to the same target Amazon S3 bucket, but into a different prefix folder. Let's start the data transfer task. When you start the data transfer task, you can choose to override any of the existing options if you need to, such as those shown. In our demo, we won't. So let's go ahead and click on start. We can then go view the task execution progress. This will give us information on how our data transfer is progressing and how much data has been transferred. Let's fast forward to the end and we can see the task has completed successfully. Note that it took 22 seconds to run 
compared to the 1 minute and 5 seconds of the copy script. And the average bandwidth achieved was 29 megabytes per second, which is a lot higher than the 5 megabytes a second that the copy script achieved. AWS DataSync not only transferred and accelerated the transfer of the data, it copied across the file metadata to the S3 object. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. If we click on an object, we can see seven metadata elements that were copied across. These include items such as timestamps and permissions of the file, which look like this on the object. So what does that mean? Let's visualize it with the help of File Gateway, where you can present data stored in an Amazon S3 bucket back to your clients through a file share. In this case, we'll present our target bucket back to our Linux host as an NFS file share, so we can view and compare the benefits of being able to copy the file metadata across. To save time, I have already created this NFS share using File Gateway as shown, where File Gateway points to my target bucket, which hosts the 10,000 files that we copied across using both the copy script and the AWS DataSync method. Let's go back to our Linux host and mount this file share on our Linux host as a new mount point called NFS underscore target. Now let's verify that it has mounted successfully. As you can see, the NFS underscore target mount is present. Now let's look at some of the data presented in this file share. We can see that it is storing the data we copied across firstly using the copy script into the S3-CLI-copy folder and then using AWS DataSync into the datasync-copy folder. Now, let's look at some of the source details of the original satin.gif file, which is stored on the source NFS file share as a point of reference. Now, let's look at what file metadata was preserved by using the S3 copy script to transfer the data to S3. As you can see, it didn't preserve any of the timestamps or permissions of the original satin.gif file. Lastly, let's look at the file metadata that was preserved using AWS DataSync to transfer the same data to the same target Amazon S3 bucket. As you can see, the timestamps and permissions match that of the original source satin GIF file. Apart from the acceleration of the performance, it provided encryption, data verification, and preserved the file metadata, not to mention that it also provided a simple dashboard to monitor and report on the progress. Now take a moment to think about these benefits. AWS DataSync can help you simplify and accelerate your data migration journey to AWS for a variety of use cases.